In also judicial matters, the Lagos State High Court sitting in Tafawa Balewa Square, Annex Lagos Island, has dismissed the no case submission of assistant superintendent of police, Drambi Vandi, who allegedly killed a Lagos based lawyer, Omobolanli Rahim, on December the 25th, 2022. But Justice Ibironke Harrison held that the prosecution led by the Attorney General of Lagos, Moyo Sore Onigbanjo, had established sufficient oral and documentary evidence linking the defendants to the crime, which required an explanation from him. Kemi Foladiemo has more on this story. Before the prosecution closed its case on February 15, 2023, it had called 11 witnesses made up of eight police officers, some of whom were colleagues of Drambi Vandi, as well as two eyewitnesses and a pathologist. Drambi Vandi had filed his application on February the 28th, 2023, before the court in a bid to have the charge brought against him by the Lagos State government quashed. Justice Harrison noted in her ruling that some of the witnesses had testified that they saw him shoot Omobolan Rahim that day and that two ammunition were missing from the defendant's rifle upon his arrest for the shooting and disarmament. The court ruled that the evidence of the defendant being the only other eyewitness who had yet to testify before it about the incident will shed more light on what happened that day. So we are quite um, happy that the course of justice is um, moving forward. And when it comes to the no case submission at this point in time, we are quite delighted that the defendant will be brought up on the next adjourned date to give his defense because we've been able to prove that there's a prima facie case against him. In his reaction, defense counsel Ben Rubadamosi told the judge that the defense team will review the ruling and decide on whether to appeal. But the Lagos State Director of Public Prosecutions, Obajide Martins, said an interlocutory appeal of this nature will not stop the continuation of the trial in line with Section 273 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Laws of Lagos State, and he applied for a date for further hearing. The case was adjourned till May the 16th for the defendants to open his defense. Going to the prison to go and do conduct interview on a uh, suspect sometimes could be a Kulian, could be a Kulian. Uh, the judiciary and the MBA does not call through the prison system. Uh, so we will try our best to take time to visit him in prison and get his defense ready. In January, the prosecution arraigned ASP Vandy on a one-count charge of murder. The charge stated that he shot and killed the 41-year-old pregnant property lawyer by shooting her in the chest, an offence contrary to Section 223 of the Criminal Laws of Lagos. He pleaded not guilty to the charge. Kemi Foladeemo, TVC News, Lagos.